This activity is designed to provide practice in solving trigonometric equations. The activity also addresses the concept of multiple solutions and checking answers graphically. Students are first asked to solve the equation algebraically, showing all of their steps. Students are then asked about the number of solutions. Now the worksheet will walk students through how to solve the equation graphically using the class pad. Students will open the graph and table application from the menu. You want to make sure you're in radian mode. If you're not in radian mode, simply tap in this area right here and it will change the mode. Also, you want to make sure you're in y equals mode. You want to enter sine of 2x for y1. We're going to open our keyboard, we're in the math tab, and we want to go to trig. Sine of 2x. And now you can just tap exe. Now you want to enter 0.6 for y2, exe. We can close the keyboard at this point. You want to make sure that both of the boxes to the left of y1 and y2 are checked. If not, you can simply tap on them to check the boxes or uncheck them. Now we want to tap on the graph toolbar button and our function will graph. You can use the view window option or you can simply zoom until you get a good window. And now you can use the class pad to find the intersection points of the two graphs. To find the intersection points, you want to go to Analysis, G-Solve, and you want to go to Intersect. The cursor will be blinking at your first intersection point. Simply use your cursor to move to the next intersection point. And you can see the coordinates of your intersection point are listed here. Students will then look at their solutions from steps 1 and 2 and compare their results from the algebraic solutions they found in step 1. Finally, the worksheet ends with some practice problems. Students will solve the problems algebraically to start with and then check their answers graphically on the class pad for three of their solutions. I hope you and your students enjoy and benefit from this activity.